So in this example, we have someone who wants to hire a car. Now, it has a booking fee of five pounds and the first mile cost two pounds. Then the rest of the miles cost 0 0.25 per mile. So we've got difference here. The first mile is the price for the first mile is different to the price for the rest of the miles. Then it says Tom also wants to, the, to fill the car with diesel and the car uses approximately 0 0.5 pounds in diesel per mile. So we have to ask the user how many miles they are going to travel. So first we do that. Um, here is going to be an integer. So we create a variable called miles and we use integer because it's a whole number and input to ask the question and then we ask the question in here. So how many miles are you going to travel? Then we need to do the calculations. Now here I've created a variable called higher cost. Now what I did here is miles minus one. Now I've done this because I wanted to take away the first mile. So I didn't want the first mile. So the first mile is gone. I'm just counting the rest of the miles and times in it by 0 0.25 because that's how much it costs for the rest of the miles. Now this will give me the price for the rest of the miles for bullet point three for this one. Then I've done plus five. Now plus five, that's the booking fee, so five pounds. Then plus two, which is the extra mile because I've deducted that from the rest of the miles. Okay, um, so that's the first thing. We've just calculated the higher cost. So how much it will cost to hi um, hire the car. Then we need to calculate the diesel cost. So as, uh, as it says in the question, the diesel cost uses 0 0.5 pounds per mile. So we just create a variable called diesel cost and we do miles times 0 0.5. Now this will give us how much it will cost us in diesel. Then for the final part, to find the total cost, we just add the higher cost with the diesel cost. So we just add them together. This will give us the, uh, the total cost. And then we just need to print it and display it in a full sentence. So you do print to display it on the screen and in the sentence the total cost is and then the pound sign and total cost. So we concatenate with a comma here. And then when we run it, it says how many miles are we going to travel? So let's say 10 and then it will give us the cost. So the total cost is 14.25.